Hi guys, welcome to Lady J Love's channel where God turns your frowns upside down and he will do it. I know this to be true. I hope everyone is feeling well and in the best of health. You know, I always say that. We rebuke anything that's not of God, anything that's, that's negative, any sicknesses, illnesses, anything that is not of God. Anyway, today, um, this evening, I... Um, I'm doing this video because I've been having quite a bit on my mind. Um, just because I'm following God and I'm in his league, that does not mean that I am stress-free. <laughs> Completely. Um, I'm not stressed out about um, big things. It's just little minor things, just things that nag at you. You know, um, uh, bills for one, <laughs> bills for one. But I know that God is going to um, uh, allow me to rise above that issue. So, but it's it's kind of hard, you know, when you can't see what's ahead. Okay, and you you get caught up in what's around you in the world and I know you know since I've gotten in tune with God and I have um really started um I'm I'm, I'm really kn I know him I don't just know about him but I know him I know what he wants I know what he likes and I know what he wants to see you do and but I I get a little discouraged because I feel stagnant. I feel like I'm at a standstill and I feel the urge of a little anxiousness because I, I'm ready to move forward. But with that, I had to remember that you got to let go and let God make your way you gotta commit yourself to his ways and you gotta trust and believe that he's gonna stand up to his word when you he knows god knows everything about us he knows every thought every feeling everything there's nothing he do he does not know um <laughs> but even still with that you still get a little if well he knows all this stuff why do i feel like there's there's not going to be um a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for me but then I have to go back see that's that's how Satan plays tricks with your mind because he'll have you thinking about the things that you can see in life trying to distract you from the things that you can't see which is God's blessings coming for thee and so this is where I'm at. I, I go back and forth in my head, but then I have to grasp myself with my thoughts, understanding that God knows our track record. He knows what it's going to take for us to reach the finish line. And he's going to be there every step of the way, whether it's in this life or in the next. And that's just the way we got to look at it. Um, I've said this before, the things that we can reach out and touch here, they're going to disappear. So what we need to be trying to grasp onto and hang on to 
is what we can't see. That's going to clear our path to be free. Okay. The things that we can't see are the things that God that God is going to allow us to have. And again, that goes back to his blessings. Surprises. Okay, those pop-up surprises when you least expect it, when you didn't think it was possible, when you didn't think it could happen to you or for you. Those are the things that I want to wait on and I want to be patient for. It. I might get a little jittery and want to step outside my body sometime. You know, being impatient can whoop you. It can whoop you. It can wear you down, break you down, tear you down. But see, when you're patient about it, your mind is content. You're not jittery. You're not anxious. And that's the way I want to be. I, I, I want to know I want to be at peace in my head knowing that my father is looking out for me. He didn't start this with me for nothing. He's not going to pick me up to drop me. So these are things I have to remember when my mind go to wondering Am I on the right path? Am I doing the right things? Am I uh, living up to his standards most of the time? I Because nobody's perfect. We're never going to make it there. We're never going to um, be a perfect peach. It's not going to happen. It's always going to be a flaw and a squeak. Isaiah 41 9 I brought you from the ends of the earth and called you from its farthest corners Isaiah 41 9 I brought you from the ends of the earth he didn't bring me from the ends of the earth to allow me to go astray If he, if I'm at a standstill right now, I had to come to understand that it's, I'm there because he wants me there. He wants me to slow down for a moment and wait on him. And that's what I'm going to do. Proverbs 4, 25, 27. Let your eyes look straight ahead fix your gaze directly before you give careful thoughts to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways do not turn to the right or left keep your foot from evil do not turn from the right to the left. You stay fast. Stand steady. Strong and look straight ahead. I have to remember these things. And I want you guys to remember it too. God wants you to remember this. I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. Isaiah 26, 3, you will keep in perfect peace with those whose minds are steadfast because they trust you. When you're around people with a mind like yours, with 
uh, you're at peace with their company. You trust them. And they'll trust you. Welcome to Lady J Love's channel where God turns your frowns upside down. Please like and subscribe. God bless you and may he keep you. This is a little bit longer. Sorry.